All right, guys, we are here. It is a very warm day here in North Carolina. We're in the middle of a forest section in a city called Chapel Hill, and there's tons of development all around us and then this oasis of forest. And inside here is where we are going to be finding the lemurs pretty soon. We're gonna go on a little tour and hopefully be able to see lots of them and enjoy whatever the Duke Lemur Center has to offer.
the day that we went to visit the Duke Lemur Research Center was actually the hottest day of the entire year for North Carolina. It was easily up to 98 degrees Fahrenheit, almost 40 Celsius. And I thought that that would be fine for the lemurs because they're from Madagascar and that's a really hot place, right? But it actually turns out that Madagascar rarely gets up above the 80s. So the high 80s are where they're normally at. So these poor lemurs were having a very overheated day. But it was really interesting because they have air conditioning and fans and the keepers would bring out different kinds of frozen treats to the different lemurs. So what you're seeing here is this very old husband and wife pair of lemurs getting a whole bunch of frozen grapes to eat. And it was really fun watching them search for the grapes and then chase each other around for the last of the frozen grapes as their little cool off treat to beat the summer heat. Seeing the Safakas was so much fun. They were actually some of the most active of the lemurs that we saw at the center that day. And I'm betting that part of that is because they actually have access to an indoor air conditioned zone as well as to their outdoor play area. And they also had a very young baby with them. Isabella is the baby who is tugging on all of the tails. She's actually tugging on her dad Charlie's tail quite a bit here. And it turns out Isabella is actually the granddaughter of Zaboom the Sifaka who was in the Zaboomafu series. I was really impressed to learn about that. His son is Charlie and so Isabel is descended as his granddaughter. So I didn't know it but we actually got to see some lemur celebrity bloodlines while we were visiting and Isabella was very playful and jumping all around the place and really keeping all of the adults on their toes and fussing with them and she was actually born on Valentine's Day of this year. So just the few months since she was born and she has already grown into a very active, independent lemur who will still apparently run up to her mother when she gets startled and scared or she's exposed to something new and climb on her mom's back. But mom is ready for her to learn how to play and be a big lemur, so she's not really allowed to ride on her mom anymore. Thank you. 